A WOMAN'S RIGHT TO AN ABORTION IS UNDER INCREASING FIRE. GOOD EVENING, EVERYBODY. I'M MIKE DARDIS. AND I'M SHERIE Palello. PLANNED PARENTHOOD FACILITIES ALL ACROSS THE COUNTRY ARE FEELING THE HEAT. IN AN EFFORT TO FIGHT BACK, PLANNED PARENTHOOD SUPPORTERS HELD RALLIES TODAY, INCLUDING ONE RIGHT HERE IN CINCINNATI. WLWT NEWS SIZE TODD DYKES IS LIVE FOR US IN MOUNT AUBURN TONIGHT WITH MORE ON THE POLITICS OF REPRODUCTIVE RIGHTS. TODD. Yes, Cherie, as Republicans in Washington try to strip Planned Parenthood of federal funding, pro life activists would like nothing more than to see this facility in Mount Auburn stop providing abortions. But supporters of the nonprofit organization say Planned Parenthood is too important to simply throw away. Anti abortion activists like Paula Westwood are a common sight in front of this Planned Parenthood surgical center in Mount Auburn. Planned Parenthood is not needed for women. It's not needed for health care. Supporters of Planned Parenthood disagree, which is why they came together in a show of solidarity for an organization under attack. 97% of what they do has nothing to do with abortion. It has to do with affordable contraception, affordable health care, prenatal care, helping women who are pregnant. Get, get care. While not too concerned about the federal fight to defund Planned Parenthood, the leader of the organization's Southwest Ohio branch is worried about what he calls trap laws. Targeted regulation of abortion providers. It's a national effort. It's taking place in many states where you have very conservative legislators and legislatures. Jerry Lawson says Republican state lawmakers have inserted what he calls unconstitutional anti abortion provisions into budget bills, which are now law. One rule requires surgical centers like Planned Parenthood to have a patient transfer agreement with a private hospital in case something goes wrong during an abortion. No hospital wants to give an abortion provider a transfer agreement. In the past, public hospitals could sign transfer agreements. As a workaround, Planned Parenthood applied for a variance after finding individual doctors willing to be on standby. Lawson blames politics for minimizing Planned Parenthood's primary mission. With all the birth control work that we do, and the sex education work we do, we are doing more to reduce the number of abortions than any of those people who are standing out in front of our building. Now that variance that Planned Parenthood of Southwest Ohio had requested was denied by Ohio's Department of Health last week. A federal judge, though, saying this facility can stay open while Planned Parenthood appeals that ruling. Reporting live in Mount Auburn, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5. All right, Todd, thank you. Planned Parenthood has also filed a federal lawsuit over the new state laws, calling them unconstitutional.